After an item has been added to your menu, you have the option for your Toast POS to ask how much or how many your guest is ordering. This is called Prompt for Quantity. When a menu item has been assigned the Prompt for Quantity menu functionality, your Toast POS will show a number pad to enter a quantity when this item is added to an order. This can be used for large quantities or fractional quantities. Once you've entered a quantity, the order screen will then show the price per unit as well as the total price reflecting the quantity that was ordered. This is common in restaurants that price items individually, but often have guests ordering the items in larger amounts or in fractions. For example, a barbecue restaurant pricing their sausages per link or brisket per pound, or maybe even a catering restaurant pricing their meals per person. You can update an item's functionality to include prompt for quantity in two different ways. You can make this decision in ToastWeb in the item's properties, or you can filter your menu's advanced properties to show prompt for quantity items. This would be helpful if you wanted to update this functionality for a large amount of menu items at the same time, or to simply get a good idea of what menu items have this functionality on your menu. Don't forget to save and publish your changes. Now let's use a real life example. Here we have the pancakes priced at $2 each and the breakfast sausages priced at $5.99 per pound. Let's say your guests order three pancakes and a quarter pound of breakfast sausage. You can see the order screen reflects three pancakes at $2 each, making the total item price of pancakes $6 in the one-fourth pound of breakfast sausage at $5.99 a pound, making the total item price for the breakfast sausage $1.50. Now let's say the guest changes their mind and really only wants two pancakes. Begin by selecting the menu item you want to update and then select the Remove button in the top right-hand corner. A keypad will open, asking you to enter the quantity you would like to void. In this case, we want to void one pancake. Type in one and then select done. The order screen will now update based on the new quantity. 